academics and researchers are doing a lot of great work. And sometimes it's difficult to transition that work out into the field. And so the real big challenge here is integrating all the different components and all the different pieces. Our team makeup is primarily academic. So we've got a number of folks at CU Boulder, uh, it's University of Colorado Boulder, as well as University of Colorado Denver. Uh, on the integration side, we have a, a small team out of Austin, SSCI, uh, helping us as well. Subterranean Challenge has really revectored our siloed approach to various algorithms and various perception capabilities um, and various uh, approaches to autonomy. It's allowing us to combine and integrate all of those. Our, our team is unique for a number of things. Uh, so on the perception side, we've got a lot of different modalities we're looking at fusion across these modalities, uh, as well as sort of the longevity solutions. I think for first responders and folks in sort of military environments or any of this sort of stuff, the importance of the challenge is that they're going to get ISR, right? So they don't have to go into harm's way. So if I'm in a soldier and I'm kicking down doors in urban environments or uh, underground environments, I have an understanding of the situation and having a map of, you know, maybe it's a destructive situation like a fire in a building or something, right? Having a, a map of the area and something that could have been perturbed from an earthquake, for instance, uh, a priori is really going to help uh, the first responders and again the military folks.